Al. NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Ben Frischette. All right, 12:16 on our Monday, and Ben, we could not have asked for a more beautiful weekend, and now it's kind of seeping into our Monday. That's right. We're getting one more bonus day of that uh, summer-like weather we had over the weekend, yeah. but boy, I tell you what, Lauren, later this week, you're going to need the heavier coat. It's going to feel like it's fall. It's that time. It is. I'm excited yes. for it, though. It's time. It is it time. It is time. We're going to have morning lows in the 40s, highs in the 60s. I mean, that is quintessential fall stuff right there. But not today. That's the view in the Champlain Islands. Beautiful blue sky. The flags outside the Heroes Welcome General Store lightly flapping in the breeze. And how about this temperature? 80 degrees in North Hero right now. A little bit of humidity in the air with a dew point of 62. Many of us are well into the 70s at this hour. Just shy of it in Burlington, 75, Plattsburgh, 80 in Lebanon. And dew points are in the upper 50s, low and mid 60s across the region. So again, you may feel a little stickiness in the air as you're stepping out this afternoon. No chance for rain though. So it's a pleasant and dry afternoon, but then some changes are on the way tomorrow with showers and thunderstorms moving in and one or two of those storms could be on the strong side with gusty winds and uh, heavy locally heavy downpours. And then it turns much cooler and fall like behind all of the showers and storms tomorrow. In terms of what this looks like on the temperature trend, we go from 80 today, a couple days in the 70s, and then Thursday, Friday, there you go, low and mid 60s. The average high 74, so we're talking about 10 to 15 degrees cooler than normal. Some of those morning lows could be in the 30s for the mountain town, so a big change from what we're seeing right now. There's your sunshine on Storm Tracker, some light puffy clouds over the mountains, but you can see a more organized cloud deck off to our west across New York through the Great Lakes. This broad swirl in the atmosphere is an area of low pressure that provides the enhancement needed to produce the showers and storms tomorrow. So once that moves in, the weather will turn much more unsettled. For the rest of today, highs near 80, partly sunny skies giving way to more clouds tonight. Should be another mild night with lows in the 50s and 60s. And then as we think about sunrise tomorrow, likely a few showers starting to develop. Tomorrow could be a pretty busy day. Notice what happens late morning through the early and mid afternoon, straight into the evening. Chance for thunderstorms. Again, some of them could be strong. The greatest chance for a strong storm is in the green area, which is basically all of the region except for the St. Lawrence River Valley. Again, locally heavy rain, a lightning strike or two and gusty winds are possible within the stronger cells. So this is what it looks like on Futurecast. Some of us getting into the showers tomorrow morning, but I wouldn't be surprised if some towns were completely dry. Notice how the chance for showers begins to increase in coverage as we go towards the afternoon. Four o'clock in the Champlain Valley, it could be pouring over Plattsburgh and Rutland, and this is the point where we could find the strongest storms. That th through that time through about 8 p.m., and then all of this starts to leave as we look towards Wednesday. The low passes to our north, the flow turns out of the northwest, and that's when the cooler air begins to come in. Some of those downpours could put down a quick inch of rain, but in some towns, you know, the rainfall lottery this time of year could miss out just a couple tenths of an inch of rain in some of the weaker showers. Just a few spot showers lingering through Wednesday and then much cooler Thursday, Friday with highs in the 60s, but treading back to the 70s as we look towards next week. Lauren. All right, Ben, thank you.